come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast coming at you every Saturday night like we do every Saturday night in our quest for total world domination. (laughs) Should the good folks at home help us with our world domination? We'd sure like it. I mean, who else would you want to dominate the world? Right. Exactly. Yeah, I and think we'll be pretty good. Right. Like, I think, but the four like, of I us. Think, I think that's a harmless combination. I, I don't think we can do any worse than what's currently right. happening. We are the so. new Supreme Court. Yeah. I mean, we're just going to state that right now. <laughs> and even better, we don't ask you for any money. Right. All we want you to do mm. is go over and hit that like or subscribe button. It's like you. voting. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it is, actually. Yeah, don't, don't put them off. Don't put them off. <laughs> oh, you, can, you can do it from home. You can do it from your couch. It's well, really we actually, easy. like, provide something in exchange for your vote. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. That's very Just, true. <laughs> at least, like, uh, 75 minutes of entertainment. Yeah. Uh, Every week, whether you're get, ready for it or not. Any of those guys. <laughs> yep. um, so these are the internet radio superstars. Sean. Holly. Michaela. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by. Michaela. Um, it feels like this is the fall of the House of Kings. <laughs> Yeah. You say that like we haven't failed before on this journey. What did we watch tonight? <laughs> we watched Hellbound. 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 From the year. 1994. Ooh, starring. The one and only Chuck Norris. Mm. 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 Which mm. we don't have a great track record with here on the show. <laughs> what, you got anything, Colin? <laughs> well, I mean, Chuck Norris is clearly the only guy who can slam a revolving door. Okay. <laughs> I like that. He's Should, I just leave? Can... Should I just leave right. now? Everybody's just like <laughs> tensed up, bracing for it. Like, ah. <laughs> well, I mean, I have it on good authority that uh, Chuck Norris once got into a fight with Superman. I don't know who won, but I heard that the loser had to wear their underwear on the outside. Oh. Okay, just... Gotcha. For... I hear he got in a fight with the devil, too. Just... <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's talk about but that. But lies. All lies. <laughs> lies. You heard, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, so who yeah, di- some are canon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we got we got two avenues. First of all, yeah. who directed the movie? Aaron Norris. Who? Uh, nepotism's finest, Aaron Aaron Norris, the brother of Chuck Norris. Oh, uh-huh. there it is. Who, yeah, who also right directed there. Sidekicks that we did on this right. show, as well as uh, we haven't done yet, but stay tuned for Tap Dog and Forest Warrior because he also directed those. So <laughs> and Delta Force too. Yep. So we can put him on the wall really very easily. Okay. So. Now I have a question. If we know mm-hmm. the answer to this. Is he is he a director because of Chuck Norris yes. or was he okay specifically <laughs> I we like my brother it on can do this Sidekicks episode I think we talked about okay. it yeah, yeah. Right, then it's like we're a package deal like the Coen Brothers no, yeah. no. I keep forgetting the name of the movie but if you want to see Aaron Norris uh, practicing his uh, acting ability uh-huh. alongside uh, Don Swayze oh. Frank Stallone it's the brother movie yeah it was oh. all. But I, I cannot it's the remember brother the name. I didn't know there was a brother movie. I think we talked about it on the Sidekicks Probably. episode. Was did that the I? last one we did? Or Invasion USA? Or Delta Force? But he didn't direct those. Aaron Norris didn't direct That's those. true. Yeah. But yeah. I think we talked about like the ones where they all, like the brothers all. It's the brother about. Avengers? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Don's Wow. I can't remember the name of it. But I can see. Is like, there a Quaid the in it? I don't remember who the fourth like guy there's was. An actual Randy expendables. Quaid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sean's looking, looking it up here. Yeah, I'm going to look this up. Um, okay, but this is. Is there a, a Brian Doyle Murray, maybe? <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I'm just, just naming Murray, random yeah. siblings that I can well, think no, might be. Well, no, because Randy Quaid uh, mm-hmm. and uh, they're, they're the Quaids, the Keeches. Remember the, the long Quades riders? And the Keeches, yeah. Didn't we? Yeah. I feel like I'm about to make a joke I've already made before in the past. <laughs> Didn't we make a Quaid versus Keeches like. Uh, what is the Western families that fight oh, each other? Hatfields oh my God, Hatfields and McCoy yeah. situation. Yeah. Didn't we make a joke but, about that? I think it was I like, like four families. Stepped on my own joke. <laughs> the Bridges, the Caradines. Yeah, I mean, Bridges, the Bridges. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, okay, oh, so. we talked about a Warriors type movie with all the families. Oh, That's yeah. what it was. Right. We said there'd be a Warriors movie with all the siblings. Acting like that siblings. scene in Anchorman with all of the news teams. Yeah. But like but all, it's of all the Arquettes, Quades, Peaches. Yeah, yeah. They should do that again. I think the Arquettes would fight dirty. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> they, <laughs> yeah, like Trailer Rosanna Park Arquette, <laughs> she's a scrapper. And the like and the, like um lording over all of them like royalty is the Cusacks. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> like sitting on thrones. Where are the yeah. cages in the, yeah. there's like there's like You need the scars guards. Yeah. How many of those? I think there's yeah. three scars guards. Oh, I mean, this this okay, I'm movie. drafting the scars guards onto my team because they're definitely the most physically fit. Oh, absolutely. Of all these families, right? Yeah, absolutely. We should do. Oh, the Hemsworths. Should, the Hemsworths. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, see, we should do like a like a March Madness tournament of all the celebrity families and yeah. see who would win. I know. Oh see? shit! Yeah, I'll post those polls to our Instagram stories do and we it. can decide yeah. who the, and the ultimate <laughs> family needs to is. Get on this. Yeah. Um, but while well, you were saying you haven't found it yet, well, yeah. I've been looking up a lot of a lot of stuffs coming up. There's a there's a, a Frank Stallone, Don Swayze, and Joy Travolta in a in a oh, wow. sitcom called Movie Stars from 1999. Well, I'm gonna watch that. Um, I mean, it's not Lethal Victims. Is it? I don't think so. Uh, it war. seems like it was a war movie. War, okay. No, that's war. not it because they had this? them all on the uh, on the on the box cover. So it would have been like ninety two or ninety somewhere in the night. Okay, anyway, I'll look. where we're doing everything Captain we Google can to avoid talking yeah. about Hellbound right now. Hellbound. Okay, so well, let's talk about Canon Films because uh, longtime listeners will know that Michaela has a thing for Canon Films. Yeah, this is our third annual. Sometimes annual, depending on the year. Mm-hmm. Summer of Canon. It's Summer of Canon. Where she picks a Canon yep. movie every time she's up at bat. Mm-hmm. But this one is significant. Okay, so when you actually told me this, uh, a little factoid about the, the movie, uh, I was unaware of that because I thought that Cyborg uh, w- represented the end. Because that was like a $500,000 movie. Yeah. Oh. You know, and, which we did a couple months mm-hmm. ago. And I thought, okay, this is the end of Canon. But no. No. This is the last released movie by Canon. Okay, so we're saying it is canon technically. Yes. Because it does have the logo on yep, the front of it. It is a canon film group movie, yes. Okay. But what is different about this uh, as opposed to this all This is others? just your and Globus? Yeah. Yes, just the, the, le- the lesser one. <laughs> oh no! I was gonna say, do we know who the yeah. what makes Menachem Golan the? the... Well, he directed the Apple, so uh, that's true. He actually directed stuff. I don't yeah, know exactly. if Norm actually yeah. did. Mm-hmm. Now that I think about it, I don't think so. Yeah, so um, this was like the breakup movie. Yeah, well, they had broken up. I think like around the time of Cyborg. Or no, I mean like. You know how like a famous couple after they break up, they each like release their own album. Their statement, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, just, like Justin on Simpson it. and Nick Lachey, yes. they each release their own breakup album. Yep, they reflect on it. Yeah, yeah that's like what that. this is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And did we establish this is the Crimea River? Of- Does this is the is the buddy partnership between the cops like a lo- his love letter to his cousin Menachem? He's like, we, need, we should be together, like Chuck and this guy. <laughs> but we have better chemistry than he's these hoping, two. <laughs> he's like, he knows Menachem's gonna watch. His yeah, movies. exactly. Because probably like I mean like who gets Chuck? in the breakup right Ex- uh, apparently Jorin did it seems yeah. like yeah that's a, which that's <laughs> like do you think they were like time. you take Bronson I'll take Norris was how it went but I think they, I think <laughs> I think he got Bronson too because yeah. uh, Death Wish 5 the crackdown wasn't it? that was also a canon movie but wow. well, that might have been well because that was late in the mid 90s so these are all like the death knell canon right. films a lot of them starred Chuck Norris because he had there was at least there was like the hitman was that mm-hmm. canon, the hero and the terror, the hellbound. Mm-hmm. I know Firewalker, but I think that was late eighties. Mm-hmm. The one with Lou Gossett Jr., which yep. we still haven't done on the show for yep. some reason. It's been on my list for a while. Um, yeah, he had to fight the devil first. Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, <laughs> See, it, it wasn't Death Blow. A cry for justice, was it? No. <laughs> ah, son of a bitch. They did a few together then. Well, apparently, They yeah. keep showing up together. Well, this has got to be like one of the first ones they ever did, I assume. <clears throat> this is going to go I, on Okay, like let's put it this episode. way. You'll I never know. be able to decipher it from Don Swayze's IMDb. So I'm <laughs> oh my God, else. he's been in that much? <laughs> at t- really? At TV and yeah. Wow. Every, he's got a lot. Good for the him. The secret life of Don Swayze. <laughs> huh? I know, right? He showed up the other day. I was like, what? Good for him. Good for so, Don. what is it about uh, cop, uh, cop, cop actors, right? Action movie guys, uh, somewhere late in their career. I don't know. Actually, I was going to say like they all end up fighting the devil, but that's yeah. not true. Or uh, going to space. There's, there's two. Did Stallone? Yeah, he. Well, he was like spent a lot of time in space, right? Or just the future? The future. 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 I don't remember future, him ever yeah. going to space. Yeah, yeah. Stallone ever Why been to space. Why is he not going to space? Oh my god, that's what we're missing. Well, uh, Guardians know. of the Galaxy. Oh, well, that's it. Okay, yeah. that's, that, I was so disappointed when they were like, Stallone's and Guardians, Stallone's and Guardians. And I'm like, like, fuck yeah. And minutes. it is like <laughs> two minutes of him talking yeah. to somebody and then walking out of the movie, and that is it. He's on the How f- disappointing. He comes back for the funeral scene. Yeah. That's it. But he doesn't get to do anything cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't get to interact with Kurt Russell. They could have done a tango and cash reunion in that movie, and they didn't. Yeah. They didn't. Yeah. 
teases. Yep. Bunch of fucking teases. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's talk about. Anyways, uh, Hellbound. Yeah, Hellbound. Uh, what is. Uh, what no, is, let's uh, talk about Top Dog. Chuck Norris's <laughs> dog, yeah. Buddy Cop. Oh, that's been on my list for a while. Have you ever <laughs> seen it? I mean, probably. Is that like Turner and Hooch? How, how dare you, first uh, of all? Sort of. Don't you dare. Yeah, I mean, come on. He was doing all this. He was branching out. He was trying to. What was the. He did like that forest warrior. Yeah, movie. that's the one where he like can turn into animals, right? Yeah, something, right? Yeah. I never saw it. It's on my so, list too, know. so we'll get there. Seagal never went to space. He doesn't I wish deserve he to go had. to space. He yeah. doesn't deserve to go to space. And I mean, that would require him to stand up in a movie, and he doesn't do that anymore. Yeah. And Van Damme. Okay, so Seagal never fought the devil, as far as we know. <laughs> why he is, may have. Why is Van Damme not doing the splits in space? The Van like Damme fight the devil? Like floating around in the splits. Yes. <laughs> Or between like two space stations in space. <laughs> well, I was intrigued. Why it's the only he... way they can keep them from crashing. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's like he's got to do the splits. Like too. Superman, it's his last attempt. He's like, no. Yes. Still like Someone movie. make this movie right. Yeah. 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 He can right still do the done. splits. So I mean, come on. Yeah. Um. So um. The devil. The devil. Um. Is, is not is in kind of, movie. right. Yeah. I was gonna say, what's the definition of a bait and switch? Michaela's like, yeah, next week we're watching Chuck Norris versus the devil. That's what right, the trailer like, will tell you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So no, it's Prostatanos. Who? Prostate Thanos. There you go. <laughs> the uh, servant yeah. of the devil. <laughs> yep. Servant of the devil. Who yeah. could not look more like the servant of a devil if he tried. Like, yeah, this guy is not inconspicuous. No. This is not. Uh, Good thing he can change his eyes. Because <laughs> He mm-hmm. looks like that motherfucker from The Two Towers. No? Oh, yeah. the like. The like, Grim, yes. Uh, Grin, not Grindenwald. The rat, the uh, like worm, 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 worm tongue, worm tongue, worm tongue. 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 Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, well, yeah, when yeah. I first saw this guy, I'm like, this should have been Brad Dorf. But actually, but I like this guy who played the thing. But yeah. it reminded me of Brad Dorf. Yeah. Okay. Remind me, we did Ghostbusters too on this show. We right? did. We did. Well, and, before our time, but yeah. Did, I mean, I was here. We yeah. did Dracula eighty nineteen seventy one on this show. Mm-hmm. Seventy two. Seventy two. Jesus. And. We did this movie, which means that Christopher Neem, the actor who played Prostate ah. Thanos oh. in Tom the Saturday Night Freak Show, Wall of Fame. Congratulations. You, Welcome, oh, you creepy yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> remember, he was Johnny Alucard. Oh, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. I do remember. Really? Now. Yeah. Okay. We've watched so much Dracula stuff. It all kind of <laughs> comes together. I yeah. guess there is a... Wow. So that was 72 to 94. This is 94? 94, 94, yeah. That is yeah. addictive. Wow. I didn't even realize. Good for him. Yeah. I think he's been in a bunch of stuff. I think, he's like good at creepy. Prestige. He was somewhere in there. He's in um, Doctor Who. He's been in a bunch of stuff. Probably Star Trek somewhere, I'm sure. Uh, Definitely. Yeah. Definitely um, with a voice like that. So he's playing the bad guy, the emissary of the devil mm. on Earth, who we meet how? That's a fair question. Uh, we meet, at the beginning, we meet him in mid-sacrifice. Yes. Well, this movie mm-hmm. is... Uh, well, when when does this take place? The Crusades. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like it's, ten nineteen eighty or something. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is a, always a great pl- way to start your movie. Well, first of all, it starts with a crawl. This is a movie uh-huh. that has to tell you the legend. A crawl with like really great like theatrical middle age music. Yeah, and the crawl is very like. This is a Star Wars crawl. Mm-hmm. It's a Star yeah. Wars crawl. It's a little fancier. And it had, it's it, had some good wording. It said something in there about like you know the the arch uh, whatever sidekick of Satan is on Earth, but he will be defeated by the man by a what was it a holy a knight who flies under the banner of the lion or something. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, a Chuck lion. Norris. <laughs> you know, like yeah. this is that's who we're talking about. But yeah. No. Yeah. No, we're actually talking about Richard the Lionheart. So, right. What happened? So, uh, yeah, old timey uh, start to the movie. Yeah, I dug it. I'm in. Yeah, yeah. So, what what happens there? Uh, Lionheart is looking for his son, who has been kidnapped as a sacrifice to the devil because they need holy blood. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, explain this to me. So, there's like a ritual chamber, right. and you have like the usual like hangers thing. on. Sure. Um, and. Pros Thanos. What? Prostate Thanos. Prostatanos. Thank you. Uh, is you know, there with his magical blade that he has to stab the young uh, the kid scepter. with? Scepter. Oh yeah, he's got a scepter. In that yep. order. Yeah. What's going to happen once he actually completes his ritual? The devil will come back to Earth and reign. The devil will be stronger. Yeah, the devil will walk there. Th- end of the world. Armageddon shit. Okay. Revelations. Oh, yeah, the devil will take over. It's revelations. So this is what is required in order to trigger Armageddon yeah. is mm-hmm. this guy. Yeah. So the impression being that this guy's been living on the earth for uh, a long time trying to work toward this 
moment mm-hmm. where he's going to have this sacrifice, but it all goes sideways when King Richard and his guys show up mm-hmm. um, and attack the pig demons. That's right, because uh, right, because some of yeah. his his uh, henchmen in the cloaks, they're, yeah, they're pig yeah. demons. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. They're like tiny. I was excited. Rancors. Like this was a, this to, to me this was a solid start to the movie. Yeah, I, I mean, was, yeah. I was like, dude, I'm into this. Yeah, this is cool. And we're like, maybe we didn't like uh, completely fall down the cannon rabbit cannon, uh, like off the cliff of the cannon. Right. Yeah. It o- only but, would have been better if like Chuck Norris was in this part. It's the only way it could have been better. Because oh I want to see Chuck Norris as a knight just roundhouse kicking people. Yeah, does he have that movie? Is there a movie where he has like a medieval knight or something cool like that? I don't think. <laughs> I think this is as close as you're going to get. Damn. I don't Damn. remember that. Yeah. He never really branched out. It would have been cool if he was in mm. this part because Chuck Norris is the only guy. Yeah, it's like the relative of the guy. How has, how has he not done like a King Arthur Excalibur kind of shit? Right. right. How has he I mean, not because done he's that? like, because everyone's just like, all right, you can't do the roundhouse kicking. It's a, we're in the. Ancient times. Well, like, oh, right. Could you Where imagine if you roundhouse kicked kick a this? sword out of someone's hand? How yeah. awesome! I'm that would all be? for it. Yeah. I want this to happen, <laughs> but they're just like, it's not possible, Chuck. And Chuck was just like, Chuck or if Norris. he did a jousting match, but it was just him against someone on a horse, he just, and he would just like kick out. it, kick and joust or like, it out, or like samurai style, so he can do all his like kicks. Yeah, and that'd stuff, be all right you know? too. Like, just... like the samurai with Tom Cruise. Yeah, be like that shit. Well, I'm trying to think. Like in um, Sidekicks, we got like. Uh, Chuck Norris displaced in time, right? It was well, like, weird the, it's daydreams. like we different daydreams of yeah. his movies, fantasy situations. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so we never got right. All right. No, never, no, we so... never, no, we never went that far. That is yeah. probably one of the times we could have gone closest to it, but no, we never went that far. God right. damn it! He, he could have been in space during that too, but yeah. that kid was not creative enough. Yeah. Can't roundhouse in space. He would just spin. For he could find a way. <laughs> yeah, waiting for their roundhouse the whole way through this movie. Uh, never got it, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. No. A lot of, lot of, a lot of uh, uh, running kicks. Yep. Yeah. A lot yeah. Of, uh, yeah. Yep. I don't even see even say a lot. Movie holds its cards close it to its does. chest, yeah. so it can unleash uh, the holy whoop ass at the end and spurts. <laughs> it would have been cool though to see Chuck Norris in the past because um, Chuck Norris is so awesome. He's the only guy who can start a fire with a fire extinguisher. He's the only guy who can build a snowman out of water. Uh, audience, you didn't see the unison head drop of the <laughs> remaining three <laughs> members of this freak show. Literally, we heard it. We all went, "Oh!" Uh, <laughs> you had to keep throwing those in. It there. was uh, it was wonderful. What was the episode? Just for the <laughs> listeners at home, can go back. At one point, we did do the origin of the Chuck Norris joke, oh, right? I, if, well, I don't remember what it, it was. Well, we've done Invasion USA. USA. Yeah, we did missing, hey, missing in action. Delta, no. Force. Delta Force and Delta Force. No, and I haven't sidekicks. done missing in action yet. Oh, and sidekicks, Delta sidekicks, Force. Invasion USA, and Delta Force. No. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, speaking of Invasion USA, all right. So Invasion USA was shot by um, the guy who did Friday the Thirteenth mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Part uh, Four. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. listen to that episode because arguably Chuck Norris's greatest movie. Sidekicks. Uh, no, Invasion USA. Oh, no, Invasion USA. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. yeah. well, I was like, why am I the only one saying this? <laughs> I, I was, honestly, I couldn't remember much of Invasion USA. I mean, that was the was bazooka like the mall, out the window the, at the... The shopping the, mall, the mall, right? Yeah, the mall was in that, right? That movie yeah, was yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that, was, was, that was good. Yeah, pretty the, good. Yeah, because that was the movie Colin should have brought. Yeah. Yeah. But instead he brought... Delta Force, Delta which was yeah. boring. Yeah, right. And he made up for it with Invasion. Yeah. Delta yes. Force had the like plane hijacking drama, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, wow. What's his yeah. name was in it, too? Bo Svensson was the captain. Oh, and Robert oh, Forrester. Bo Svensson. It all comes yeah. back to yeah. Bo Svensson. But the guy who shot this, uh, his name is How, I think, How uh, Fernandez, right? And he also shot several other Chuck Norris movies mm. because he got into working with Chuck Norris because he had worked with Joe Zito, the director of Friday the 13th, Four, who did missing in action and these right. guys have worked together like forever so the photographer he, he likes the prowler so he likes photographing photographing people getting thrown out of windows well he that's likes his favorite thing other stuff saying. too because this guy actually got his start in the adult film industry and his name was uh, harry flex and he uh, shot uh, harry flex i'm debbie, sorry uh, no not debbie does dallas but he did deep throat and he did the oh, right. so, like, he did deep throat yes a guy right. named that harry was a flex because i've heard this shot before yeah Right. I think he also went by Al Spencer, but his name is uh, Hal uh, Fernandez, if I'm pronouncing that right. 
Yeah. So there you go. Right. Look at the lineage. Now he's like Chuck <laughs> right. Norris's cinematographer in all these movies. Um, you know, he's like, I saw what you did in Deep Throat. I need you on my next movie. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> right? Because I'm like, does Chuck Norris know that he's working with the acclaimed cinematographer Chuck Norris of knows. the classic golden age of porn? He knows, knows everything. <laughs> Probably. All right. So, because um, Joe Zito knew, he knew that. Yeah. There on. you go. Um, okay. So, uh, Prostate Thanos is uh, banished to, well, I mean, basically, all these guys, they have to uh, be locked away in the past so we can bring them out again in the future. Yeah. And our hero is going to have to deal with them. Um, they lock him in a tomb. Mm-hmm. Yes. With, with like, knife locks. Yeah. Like holy Dagger daggers. Mm-hmm. Which is cool. I yeah. like that idea. Yeah. All these monks come in, but. But then King Richard ends up breaking the scepter because, like, the scepter is like prostate Th- Thanos's power, mm-hmm. yeah. and he hacks it into nine pieces. Yeah. Yes. This is going to be important. Yeah. Okay. Then, is it? Then cut to. In, in theory. I question that. Oh, but, then, yeah. then we go to the fifties. This was a surprise. Yep. Yeah. Well. We don't uh, go to nineteen ninety four. We nope, go to nineteen fifty one. So that was the era of grave I suppose robbers. We have robbers. to. We have to give him a way to be out. And have been living on the earth for a while before we get to night. Sure. Okay, sure. is that what's going on there? Because That's the whole reason yeah. for it. I yes. was going like, why? Wh- yeah, why are we doing this? Because a couple of, thank you, a couple of uh, like Arab grave robbers, you know, disturb the tomb. They pull the um, the daggers out, but they don't stop there because they're thieves and they're greedy. So right, we got to see what else is in the tomb. Yeah, so we got to we have to open the tomb. He's like, help me open this, <laughs> and you have to stick your hand in the dark, ominous <sighs> blackness. Never. Of- <laughs> <laughs> Don't just leave everything alone. Like just, best case scenario, there's spiders, right? right? Like, yeah, yeah, there's best something case. or a uh, snake or something. Yeah. Like uh, no, it's an asp in there and some shit. No, mm-hmm. and I did like that effect. I guess like the, you know because we're still kind of being introduced to this movie and like what the tone and all that's going to be. And you see the 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 grave robber like laying on top of the tomb and yeah. he's flailing, and then all of a yeah. sudden this hand. Bursts up through him. Right, because yeah. he does get like pulled in, something's pulling him in, and he's yeah. like freaking out while the other one's trying to escape. And yeah, we see the hand like come up through his cavity and like rip out his heart. That was pretty badass. Yeah, so we're like, this is not so bad so yeah, far. Right. I was on board so with this movie for right. sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we cut to Chicago. Present day, yep. 94. Yes. Okay. Where we're introduced to the man, mm-hmm. the myth, the legend. Frank Sorry. Shatter. <laughs> Frank <laughs> Shatter. The, the Shat. Shat. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Shat. And we're not kidding. No, no Frank no, Shatter. Frank, Frank Shatter. Shatter. Yeah, this may take, because I thought, you know, I keep saying Mason Storm <laughs> was like the most uh, manly that's, that's action the, movie. Yeah. yeah. Mason Storm. You know, okay, so Frank Shatter. Frank I like Shatter's Mason pretty Storm. Good. Frank Shatter is good. I think Calling Frank him Shat. Is, Frank is a stronger <laughs> name than Mason. But Mason, well, yeah, think, but think, Mason Storm flows Frank very well. Name. That's yeah. my dad's name, though. Frank, so. <laughs> okay. Frank Shatter. Frank Shatter. Yeah. Okay, so now we know what kind of movie we're in. Like, wow, well, no sense of irony or anything. We're no, just no, gonna no like, not no. with these guys. Okay, so who is Chuck Norris in this movie? Sergeant Frank Shatter. Yeah, he I mean, is. What's he, uh, his, he's his a cop. He's a cop. He's a yeah. He's, uh, it almost feels like he's a dirty cop at the beginning, but they're playing the good cop, bad cop role in this with his partner. Yeah, because yeah, he's about to blow some guy away. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, you're you're selling drugs, and so, like, it's time to die. You know? <laughs> yeah. You're like, whoa, this Chuck is, Norris. This is the Riggs Murtaugh jaywalking part of, mm-hmm. of, yes. of Lethal Weapon 3. Who's his partner? Calvin Levels. <laughs> That's his real name. Oh, okay. His name in the movie. His name in the movie is Calvin. Yeah. Oh, wow. you, they, they weren't stretching. Calvin Jackson. No, no yeah. Calvin Jackson in the movie. No, no, Colin. They used up all the creative energy on the other names in this movie. Yeah. You remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Mordecai Schindler. Mordecai. Yeah, Mordecai Schindler Mordecai and Schindler. Reginald. No. No. Reinhard Krieger. Reinhard, Reinhard Krieger. Reinhard, Reinhard Krieger. Krieger. Yeah. 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 Kudos to you, screenwriters. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but then when they got to Calvin, they're like, mm, Calvin Jackson. Okay, that works. So this is the idea of having Calvin Jackson in the movie is because uh, is it like I just wonder if audiences are aware at this point that like, okay we like seeing Chuck Norris, but by himself, he's kind of dry. I think the thought is just people like buddy cop movies. People love buddy cop movies. And it ends there. So, yeah. Yeah. So you're going to have that banter. Yeah. Who, uh, do, it's not uh, here. Do, not no, here. no, you don't. Not Apparently here. not. That's what the, you said it's a buddy cop movie. It's not to be found in this movie. No. I mean, there's banter. Who, it's the, it's the, someone thinks there's banter. I, I, someone. It's not, I don't know who. It's not good at all. No. Like whatsoever. It is the most basic, like, hey, buddy, we just met. 
it's like this is all I have to say to you because I don't know you. Like they, it, it feels like the they, only uh, joke in this goddamn movie is the dude wants to eat and Chuck Norris won't let him eat. It that's feels, the running joke of the whole fucking movie. This movie feels like if you've ever traveled for work with a coworker that you don't like. That like you literally only have a f- barely functional relationship with at work because you work in the same building. Yeah, it's like that's what this feels like. Or yeah, it. Or like when you take a class in school and you have that one person you're friends with just because you have that class together. Yeah, that energy between these two. For yeah, sure. yeah. This relationship is like the two people who pass each other in office and they. Not the even. only the only thing they can say is having fun yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that is the that is the yeah. that is this relationship. <laughs> yeah. Only yeah, eating. But you have to go like to that. Israel with that person. Yeah, and so, he complains the whole fucking time. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here. Mm-hmm. Uh, entire movie was shot in Israel. Yep. Yo, yeah, okay. I have a, yeah. I was gonna say that's not yeah. Chicago. I know like, that Chicago set was like that's the set that we have. That's the city. Yeah. yeah. You know, whatever. Because yep. it was like a. You know, only saw one corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, they yeah. had some nice shots of the city, but Chuck yeah. wasn't in them. Yep. No, that's, <laughs> yeah. That's some good uh, stock footage of Chicago. <laughs> yeah. Good job. And I, noticed, I know they're cheap, goddammit. Well, they were in Israel the, the whole time. A lot time. of the characters seem to be dubbed also. Yep. Yes, you know? that yeah. was so fucking annoying. Especially the hooker at the beginning. Yeah, that's who, the one I'm talking about. She was so fucking annoying. <laughs> well, she, it, hers was weird because like, you know, you're basically just watching this woman kind of like get out of bed and do all this stuff. But she has this running monologue that's like, eh, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to do right. that. I'm like, that's all dubbed in. Like, yeah. she's not yep. actually doing it. And it's it. badly what the dubbed. Fuck? Yeah. Um, she is... Uh, in a in a motel room with a a a, a fellow that we don't a see a John a John there you go and then it turns out when we do see his fingernails because he's washing his hands in the sink mm-hmm. we're like oh I recognize those fingernails I recognize those Dracula claws. <laughs> yeah it's yeah. they're not fingernails Colin they're claws the claws those are claws prosatanos and so. I was sitting there going like, now how in the fuck? Because I guess, you know, it's like we, we see him in 1951, like coming to life. And now in 1994, he's uh, got a hooker in Chicago. Mm-hmm. And like, OK, we've come a long way. There's going to be yeah, there's going to be a story here. He's crossed oceans for that. How'd you get your passport? And, you know, like all this other well, stuff. Well, I mean, how does any like vampire who lives through time? Yeah, well, they, just, they, they learn the ways. And yeah. they, well, I mean, then it goes on. We discovered that not only is he traveling across seas, but he is like a renowned archaeology professor yeah. in right. Israel. Yes. Like and that's in the, and in the States and in the States. Yeah. That's what he's been doing for the last 30 years. He's been going to college, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> right. I yeah. always wonder about this yeah. because th- this would make a fascinating movie in some the way. The devil to goes me. to college. Yeah, the devil goes to college. <laughs> you know, I want to see him arguing in class, but like over anthropology concepts that he yeah. was there for. Yeah, like, yeah. that's yeah, what yeah. I want to see. Or philosophy yes. class. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That'd be fun. yeah. that's what I want to see. He's in yeah. world religions, and he's the one that won't shut the fuck up because he was actually there. Right. Yeah. He lets yeah. it slip sometimes. It's like, well, that's not how I remember yeah. i mean <laughs> yeah i'm not the devil that's the shit i want to see yes that'd be fun but we don't get that in this movie nope. in this movie no. he just goes to hookers but he is arranging a meeting indeed um with these two gentlemen who i think mm-hmm. we just named mordecai and reinhardt yep yeah um because they have a piece of the scepter and that's mm-hmm. sud- setting into motion the entire plot because yes he has to get all the pieces of the scepter back together prostatanos has to Collect his infinity stones. Exactly. Thanos. Yes. Prostate yeah. Thanos has to get his infinity stones. Yeah. You does. can say it. <laughs> yes. But there is something goes amiss in this meeting. And uh, at some point, uh, Prostate Thanos ends up ripping the heart out of Mordecai Snyder. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, no, not Sh- even close. Schindler. 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 Damn it. I was like, how do you, how do you get that part wrong? <laughs> mixing the, the Hebrew and the Germans, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, he, he goes in there to, to, to uh, sell him a relic, or at least to get it looked at. Um, but that's not, he has other motives. That's right, because he's one of the, the like Knights Templar or something. Basically, he's the knight in Indiana Jones. He's like, I've been charged with ke- keeping this safe. And so he pulls out one of the daggers from the tomb and stabs him because mm-hmm. he thinks he's figured out a way to kill him. Why didn't that work? Because the dagger doesn't not, kill him. It's not uh, that kind of dagger. That's okay. a key, not a magical. It's a holy relic, but it's not the thing that kills him. Yeah. So instead, he gets his heart ripped out. Yes, he does. He does. And then <laughs> it's uh, no, that's not a singing. Yeah, it was like one of the best lines. So of this that, movie. that is the best line. That's, that might be the best line. In comedy the wise, that's the funniest line in this movie. Oh, it, comedy wise, it might be the heart? only funny line in this movie. Yeah, yeah. it's like it's dude's there. missing his fucking heart. He's like, uh, no, actually, it's 
over there. Yeah. No, it's not. It's right there. <laughs> yeah. That's the nonchalance of Chuck Norris actually came into play in yeah. that scene once. very well. Once. 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 That's all. Once. Yeah. Yeah. Can't do it too much. No. no. Might not enjoy not. that. No, he might show off his personality. <laughs> yeah. Our heads might explode. I mean, it's just he's sparing us, you know, right. from, you know, yeah. a full onslaught. He's a very merciful Norris. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank thank Chuck. Yeah. Well, he is embroiled now in the well because thank you, Sisto. Yeah, thank you, Sisto. <laughs> well, you were you were saying there's a lot of uh, defenestration. There is uh, yeah. in, in Chuck Norris movies. Yeah, you know, get this when the hooker goes out the window. She goes out mm-hmm. the window and lands on his car. That's how they get involved in the in the in the plot. And again, what, a hooker falls on the hood of his car, and Chuck Norris is not really faced. He's, he's just like, like, what? What the hell? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, what the hell? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> he, yeah, he's like, I just had this fixed last week when this happened. Right. <laughs> I'm very tired of this happening. Never faced. Okay, so you're like, all right. That's why uh, he, can fight he has to get involved in the in the you know and he's eventually going to uncover the plot. But then it takes this. Ama- oh no, because they do uh, while they're still in Chicago, they go to uh, visit a uh, antiques professor mm-hmm. who mm-hmm. it turns out magically, and I'm sure that like fate somehow conspired to make this happen. Mm, it's the the woman from Walker, Texas Ranger. Shocking, uh, Shari. Wilson. I'm not sure what her name is. Yeah, but Sheree, yeah. Uh who's she playing Walker? I think she's like the woman in Walker. I don't know. I don't <laughs> watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> There's two guys and a woman. I, I think like she's the woman in so, Walker. Okay. I was like, honestly, that's all I need. <laughs> I, mean, I, I know I know the part. I know what you're saying. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I know exactly the part that's she plays. Yeah. So then you got to whose face is on the poster. Yeah. <laughs> did did Walker Start and then Chuck was like, "You should come do this movie Hellbound with me." Yeah, what year did Walker? Or start? was it the other way around? That like, hey, we're doing this Walker TV show. Oh you no, should be I in think it. there was like a season three thing, like TV movie, right after he did this, somewhere close in the credits or in his IMDb oh, yeah. credits. It said Walker started the year before this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so okay. he brought her over from Walker. Yeah. Yep. Texas. yeah. I got a movie. You want to come be in my movie? And she's like, "Yeah," and what? Bam! And yeah. away they go to Israel. Do well, you guys know that that. CW reboot is like still going strong. Mm-hmm. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. like it got renewed. I guess it's fucking Walker Texas Ranger. Yeah, I think his son but shows up at one point. It's Jared Padalecki. It's Jared Padalecki, yeah. Texas yeah. Ranger. People like him because he's super They do. Oh, okay. they do. Does he kick reaching. people? I mean, he's so tall. I'm he's, sure he he's could. Yeah. He's got to. Yeah, he's, he's a, better. He's, he's a buff legacy. dude. He's mm-hmm. a buff dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just he's gonna be I, kicking. I, mean, I just don't know a single person that's watched any of that show, and yet right. apparently they're out, they're out there. Because I'm trying to like understand like the fangirl basis is our age now. So yeah. is it women our age watching it? That, that, I, you know, this is a mystery. We I don't need to solve how. I don't know. <laughs> All we'll right. start talking so to the women your age and yeah. next episode. Suss out the we'll Walker. do like a Billy on the street thing about hey, have you watched the new Walker Texas reboot yeah. yet? We'll just ask <laughs> random people on the street if they've watched it. Uh, this is on our Patreon. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um okay, so uh well he meets her because she works at a museum and of course is yeah. a collector or you know, she can tell where this thing is from. It's right. the scepter from whatever the hell, the head of the thing. And so uh then the plot contrives to take both Walk, uh, Walker, Chuck <laughs> Norris, and his partner to Israel. Yeah. Mm, and then and missing a Bulls game. Yeah. Okay, missing game two of the playoffs. Yeah, but Michael Jordan's not on the team at this point. Those are still expensive fucking tickets. That's very true. This is... This is because he gives his partner tickets, and then this is the bad news. The good news is Chuck Norris is an asshole. Yeah, yeah what did you're dick. coming with me to Israel because we have to go answer questions about this. Oh, because uh, Mordecai yeah. was a rabbi, right? Right. right. Yeah. Who's being Which, and they ta- this makes no fucking sense. No, none whatsoever. No, no, they're, no, they're like, if, you're going to escort the body back. Yeah, if they're investigating a murder of a dude that happens in Chicago, they're going to come to Chicago and you, talk to these people. Exactly. Yeah. That makes no fucking sense that they'd go to Israel. But Chuck Norris Don't is. Uh, but they filmed in Israel, so they yep. got to find a way to get yeah, everybody yeah. there. Cheaper yeah. to yep. just set it in Israel than on that one set in Chicago, or the Chicago set I yeah. just, in I, Israel. I, I find it really hard to believe that they, the writers of this movie couldn't come up with something well, that made three. sense. Mm. So maybe one of them was tasked with, like, you got to relocate this whole thing to probably. Israel. Right. <laughs> well, this was probably a Chicago <laughs> script, and I'm like, well, we got to go over here. Yeah. Um, so now we're going to be placed on the trail of, uh, prostate Thanos because he also is alive masquerading as this professor. Mm -hmm. Um, and then magically, um, the woman shows up. I'm sorry. Sheree. Leslie. 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 Right. There you go. Shows up. 
uh, she and, and, and Chuck have a little bit of a spark. A little bit, know? yeah. 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 Um, the only spark in this movie. <laughs> well, we also meet like our other supporting characters, which is uh, the Bezzy. little uh, the pickpocket. Yeah, the pickpocket. Oh my god! Bezzy. I can't with this. No, <laughs> I, it no. makes me <laughs> so angry. What did you, you know? What do you though, find? That, I mean, oh. like Chuck Norris's uh, the, like fan base. I think <sighs> was still like you know youthful enough that they're like we got to put a kid in it. I mean, think of the success of Sidekicks. When did Indiana Jones? I was gonna say they're, and, they're not and, thinking of Sidekicks. They were thinking of Indiana Jones. When did the Temple of Doom come out? Because this is before this, right? Yeah, it was yeah. well. It was. Oh yeah, this, this is very. This, this is Temple this. of Dune. Dune-ish. Yeah. Ish. Well, it shows Chuck Norris as like. I mean, how would you describe this guy's like on-screen persona, which he seems like he is not varying from it, anything that he does. He's no, Chuck Norris is straight in everything he does. He's, yeah. he's, he's never. He's he's, he's, unf- he's unflinching. He's flat. He is. Mm-hmm. He doesn't emote anything. But he. Um, he does looks smile. after uh, wayward kids. In multiple movies, yeah. wayward wayward dogs, maybe. Yep. In, in Top Dog. Yep. Uh, rescues uh, anyone in distress. He's just uh, a cool cat. Yeah. Well, cool under, cool like, under pressure. <laughs> there's nothing. To nothing him. shakes he's him. Just, I mean, remember that scene in Invasion USA where he wrestled an alligator and then just came out of the swamp. <laughs> yeah. We were like, that's right. He's born of the, the, the American came swamp. out of the swamp wearing a croc vest and everything. After yeah. That. yeah. That's what he does in his off I think time it's hilarious until Uncle that, Sam needs I think, him. I think it's hilarious that you interpret that as stoic when really it's just the dude can't act. <laughs> oh, no, I think... I, I'm, I, that's it. I, I, I think that's what's been pushed on everybody for so long. It's just like, he's just a stoic, very no, solid no, figure. Can't like, act. Nah, he can't act. No, he just doesn't emote. <laughs> well. yeah. He just literally can't emote. No. He, he's done... Well, okay, let's put it this way. He's done better than this. <laughs> yeah. In? I think sidekicks, he did better than this. Yeah, he did. The silent rage. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get like I mean because I wow, guess, but, but the guy. All right, was, no, I, had, I offended disgusting. Colin. No, He's like, but, Whoa. Not dis- but I mean, is he doing more work there than he is no. now? He's um, well, he's I mean, not I, he's not great. He does uh, what people the only, like him to the do. The only time he's doing more work is when there's more choreography, when there's more yeah. fight choreography. Because he's a fighter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and, and I appreciate it. that, and I I appreciate Chuck Norris for that. But like him doing dialogue and like act, quote unquote acting, acting of, there's a lot of police investigative work in this movie. Yeah, yeah. Mm. he's doesn't have the personality. No, for he's not charismatic. Mm-mm. I think that's it. He's just but, a bunch of nothing. But it's also yeah. like he's got bad screenwriting in this one too oh, right sure. oh yeah the well, script that script is absolutely that horrible help yeah for I, sure. maybe they were hoping that like at one point we're watching this and michaela i think you said like i think they're just making this up as they go and i yeah. really think well, that's were. what i'm thinking maybe they thought they could get some good improvisation between calvin and, and chuck in this and that it would lead to some good banter as, 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 uh, for their relationship <laughs> but jesus fucking yeah, I hate was, them. Well, I mean, you were actually you saying making it up as you go. You were sitting back there, like basically, like writing the next line. Before yeah, they like said it's it. it's it's <laughs> the most you've seen every situation. You've heard the dialogue before a thousand fucking yeah. times, so it's not that hard to be like, "What are we up against?" Chuck is like, "I don't know," and just just to guess what they're gonna say because it's all the basic elements of they they have a probably a Chuck Norris script template where it's just like fight 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 fight. fight. A little bit of dialogue, a little bit of dialogue. Like that. I wonder if you type it in an MS Word if that template will show up. Yeah. Yeah. Just like action action movie, generic cop buddy movie. Yeah, yeah, because no, yeah, the dialogue, they couldn't have been looking at it as important for this movie. If they were, they're absolute horrible filmmakers, which, hey, they may be. But, yeah, the script sucks. And then the actors, actors don't help it at all. No. Yeah. They are offering nothing. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, um, the sidekick is trying because I mean, basically, he too he's, hard. Okay, yeah, too hard, oh, but too hard. He's but, trying way too hard, but they also didn't give him shit. It's a combination of both. It, right, he's trying to oversell under an underwritten part, where basically the only thing he has is uh, I'm hungry and yeah. what the hell's going on? Yeah. And like, oh my yeah. god, that's, that's it. I'm like, you are shit. a sh- horrible detective. Yeah. yeah, just a bad. Maybe it is it, because he didn't eat the entire movie. But I'm he's saying, a I'm bad saying, cop. I'm yeah. If Chuck Norris had fed him, he wouldn't have been cranky. Like, I right. agree with Chuck Norris when Chuck Norris is making him do all the menial shit and all that. I'm just like, well, that's all you're good for, dude. Yeah, write the report. Call the yeah. call the boss and all right. that shit because you're not doing well at anything else. I think there was one scene, though, where he was like, hey, Frank, you should come take a look at this, where he found a piece of evidence. Mm. Uh, there that was a, they, there was that they didn't explain to us. They just cut away. <laughs> was that the, the scroll? Yeah, they found they a, find scroll. a scroll. Because they eventually go investigating this Reinhardt... Um, yeah. 
Kleigberg. What's his name? Krieger. 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 Uh, character. Uh, because Fezzik, the little, it's not Fezzik. Fezzi. <laughs> Fezzi. The little pickpocket. Fezzi, Did we yes. say he was a pickpocket? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, that they catch and have to set him on the straight and narrow. Um, and so he's going to show up a bunch of times. And steal more wallets and yeah. a joke. Ha 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 ha. Hilarious. Uh, because, yeah, that's a funny joke. Nope. Okay. Um, <laughs> And so they they're they're like okay we're gonna go see this antique dealer that brings them into the orbit of um because um uh, dude um, the evil dude prostate Thanos is using yeah. uh, an assumed name as his professor Professor yes. Lockley yes and so they have to go visit him and Robinov Lux but then oh yeah okay so but but this is like a, a thing uh, that I was like okay at this point in your movie your script you're you're artificially inflating your plot because. Chuck Norris brings the thing that this guy, this evil demon dude who's been around forever and he's been waiting for this scepter to come back. And he's apparently been killing because they find this uh, scroll with nine names on it. Yeah. They're, All the yeah. holy men who have. Uh, Why well, write this down? All the holy men who took pieces of the scepter and hid them. And these are the holy men who are currently in charge of protecting it, I'm guessing. And yeah. they're being killed off one by one. Yep. Yeah, because I think I think they were names of places on the scroll. Mm. It was the place, uh, that right? The, right, because the kid yeah. says it's a place. They didn't know whether it was yeah. a person or a place, and the kid said it's a place. So the yeah. police are a little bit into this then, because we get a glimpse of an Interpol uh, folder, and Chuck's like, "So this isn't just about his death, is it?" The mm. the, the right. rabbi from Chicago. This is like connected to. So the police are putting this together. Yeah, and they warn Chuck, "Don't practice your trade here in Israel, otherwise we'll arrest you." Yeah. Uh, so he breaks into a police station at one point and actually sees these documents. But um, so this guy has been killing uh, prostate Thanos has been uh, killing all these people in order mm -hmm. on and and it's they know about it because there's been, all these holy men have died yeah. on at the same time and place that he's been on a lecture tour yeah. or something. Is that what he does now? Yeah. Oh, did they give us that piece of information? Yeah, when he was on mm -hmm. the phone with Leslie. Yep. Uh, okay. Right, because she's right. like, All right, what? my sense. boss is actually like, and he's like, I think uh, your okay. boss is a murder suspect. Yep. Dun, 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 mm -hmm. dun, dun. Which, of course, immediately puts her don't in Don't terminate her this movie. I was like, don't terminate her Don't that. do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Colin's trying to spice it up. <laughs> I know, and I appreciate on. it, but yeah. goddamn it. But I, I mean, that would have been a much better score, because this weird-ass score was like a weird oh. oboe. Oh, no. Shit. A weirdo, a weirdo, yeah. It was a like weirdo. a weirdo. It was like a weird oboe. <laughs> so there specific. Is. I couldn't. If you said, uh, "What sound does an oboe make?" I have no and idea. What is a weird oboe sound? Right. Like this movie. Okay. Well, <laughs> you do remember that? I mean, for an action-packed movie like this, right? There was that action-packed car chase, car scene, car. Thing. It wasn't was, a chase. It was yeah, just a car was, driving erratically. Yeah. Right. We need a. We need a. A chase scene in this movie with no chase. Yeah, there was, so we're there just going to have a, a shitty driver, and that is a joke I, from the movie. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, go wild and drive us to our destination. Yep, and this that's is it. Like when they land in Israel, it's a taxi driver. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, it was a cop. Was it? Oh, it was a police oh, escort. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. police ex escort. Yep. It was basically like driving like crazy through uh, what is apparently crazy uh, Jerusalem traffic mm. yeah. at high speeds and like. They never did crash through a window or a no. There was no was being painted or, glass or being carried a, through or a or a chicken truck, a, truck of watermelons, truck of watermelons, yeah. or like chickens that didn't go yeah, flying right, or feathers yeah. and everywhere. Yeah. We didn't get but that. We were curious as to why the scene was happening, and I think they it's were just because, doing stuff. That's it. They're but just, there was no. They but they had to be aware that like well people probably come here for an action movie and well, we look there hasn't been any action. Prior to this, yeah. there hasn't been any. There's not going to be any action for a while. Yeah, yeah that's it. That's so we're seat. spicing it up with this. I mean, what what do you expect when you come in to see this movie? I mean, I guess if it's going to be Chuck Norris fights the devil, much like any days, you're not going to actually get the big fiery confrontation right. until the end. So what keeps you going? It's a police procedural shot in the dark, as all these movies are done. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not just going to be a lot of like run. You need who else? Who's going to kick? <laughs> Anybody. Right. <laughs> I just want him just walking down the street, just roundhousing yeah. people. We right. also get random shots of Jesus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We haven't mentioned Jesus, <laughs> Jesus yet. Jesus is in this movie. He's watching. He's watching the movie with us. Yes. Yep. He's watching the events unfold. Jesus, just lurking Jesus in the distance. Everything. Jesus is lurking in this yeah. movie. He is a lurker. Jesus yeah. lurks. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Jesus. I was That's not good. Jesus entirely. lurks. I mean, I guess when I first saw that guy, because it's when they get to Jerusalem, right? Like, yeah. We just cut away, and there's Jesus. 
<laughs> and they're and they're uh there's no lead up to it it's just out of nowhere it's no. like yeah. jesus well and okay. they do it a couple times but when you when you see a guy dressed like i mean i jesus. guess any illustration of jesus you're yeah. like okay so he's this is uh, you've landed in jerusalem and this is some order right uh that is you know prepared for this confrontation to happen oh sure. this sounds like a lot of mummy backstory going right? on here yeah, but, what? Uh, but that's what i when i first saw him i'm like it's okay here we right. go we've got the secret <laughs> order and then i'm looking at him and i'm like or it could <laughs> be <Lord's> jesus, jesus. <laughs> it's quite possible that it is jesus i'm surprised we didn't get that order and lineage and all that stuff right yeah, like that chuck norris wasn't part of a lineage that is supposed to protect this right they don't right. they didn't go that way at all in this movie but they retconned it at the end because there is this, uh, you know, once the movie is actually all wrapped up, the mm. Jesus character has like a voiceover that comes out of nowhere, which is basically the producers trying to go like, all right, let's, uh, let's tie this together. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a Jesus voiceover, but this guy sounds like his name is Dave. Like That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's the voiceover you we get what, at the though, end You know what, though? But I appreciate that he didn't look like a Dave. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I'll right. appreciate that. But what, what was his, because he then did kind of add Chuck Norris is like some kind of mythological, you know, like then the different kind of hero. Yes, he did say that. A foreign land and vanquish the, right? Yes, he did and do did, that. But we're saying, because I'm not clearing this, and it sounds like you're not clearing this, maybe. All I know is Chuck Norris this. is going to be a hieroglyphic on a wall somewhere. <laughs> Was it Jesus? <laughs> There's I... nothing saying that it wasn't. Yeah, I feel and like there's more saying that it was the way he was dressed was intentional. I feel like definitely. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you don't make a yeah. guy look like that unless you're going for the Jesus look. Yeah. And at the end, he did say something. I thought about my father past this something something. He we're did. Like, okay, so this is like you know we're, we're, a guy talking to us from the future. It's like mm. or or his father could be God. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, there was yeah, there was that scene with the rabbi in the hotel earlier on in the movie when he was saying that this responsibility had been passed on to him and he'd been waiting for 30 years for this moment to confront prostate Thanos with like the remnants of the scepter. And they kind of alluded that this guy at the end, the Jesus dude is this of the same order that he, that his family, like it was passed down to him. It's his responsibility to, to protect and that kind of thing. But it was very ominous, very Jesus. -y, so it was kind of like, you could take it both ways. Yeah. yeah. He could be a, like a, Real just human dude, or you know, so Jesus, Jesus just kind of <laughs> shows up to watch, and I was like, okay, at some point, right? I mean, the way you do this is if if Jesus is there, in some mm -hmm. point in the movie, it's like at some point Chuck Norris has to like meet his match, right? Like in going Jesus? up against the devil oh. is like something he even Chuck Norris can't handle. He, at least end of days figured this out, right? right? Yeah. Even Arnold Schwarzenegger cannot like single handedly take on right the devil, right? And then Jesus helps him out, right? It, like by shining a light on him or something, and says like, "Here's the thing for your you know whatever." And Chuck Norris finds his the secret weapon and stabs the dude or whatever, right? I I'm down. I like yeah, I want I want Chuck Norris and Jesus at, teaming yeah. up, <laughs> right? If to beat the devil. If you're gonna go for it, go hard. Yeah. yeah. Like you bring it in the mythology maybe, of like this like minion of Satan and stuff. Just go hard. Maybe they thought that might be a little sacrilegious if we bring Jesus into the fighting. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but didn't it end of days? I think God helped uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Wasn't there like a beam yeah. of light that like. Yeah. On yeah. Him, have you, the sword. Have yeah. you read the Old Testament? God is a <laughs> You know, Holly, I haven't. God is a vicious motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I said that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, all right, so eat this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well back to Chuck. He ends up and the gospels of Chuck. <laughs> eat this is Philippians three point I don't know. The Gospels of the Chuck. Gospels of you Chuck. know, uh, Chuck Norris does have a diary. It's oh. called the Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> hey, okay, so there was a laugh. Right? It was okay. good. Everybody I, else was like, all yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. all I know oh, is no. that <laughs> when this first started happening, you did it so much that <laughs> when you stopped doing it, your speech pattern made me nervous uh, yeah. that you were going to start saying it. Yeah. Chuck I Norris enjoy jokes. that. that now I, you're now, okay, great, because I'm back there now. Because now I don't trust you. Yeah. So it's, now I'm on edge all the time. It's triggering. <laughs> yes. Yeah I'm, yeah. I'm triggered by the Sean way you do Chuck Norris jokes. Yeah. I'm, you know, trying, when, uh, I'm trying to keep it together. When Alexander Graham Bell invented oh, the telephone, he already had missed three calls from Chuck Norris. Oh. Yeah. <laughs>
So, <laughs> just out of curiosity, how many of these are in the mailbag? Just curious. Yeah, I haven't I even gotten there oh, yet. Oh, no. Oh, no. So I was like, I'm going to need you to chill the fuck out if oh, there's a lot in the mailbag. No. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Pacing. Uh, uh, Lindsay gets it. Abdu- Leslie. Leslie. Leslie gets ab- <laughs> abducted by the bad guy. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. She's yeah. going to be the next sacrifice. It wasn't. Yeah. Because wasn't throughout this whole movie, he's referring to her as princess. The bad guy is. Yes. Yeah. And. And we find out that now that he has. Sa- he has killed. Each of the nine, the nine pieces, the last thing he needs is holy blood. To royal complete blood. The, royal blood. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. Royal blood to complete the sacrifice. And uh, Calvin. I, <laughs> <laughs> the way we get to this is Calvin picks up a picture of man. She looks like royalty. Yeah. <laughs> and Chuck, and a light goes it, off. A light bulb Chuck's goes in Chuck's head. And, and, he's, like, and we, he's making calls and shit. I'm just like. It's one of those things where the audience was there 15 minutes oh, or yes. more before the movie did. I was going to say the worst part where they stretched it was that, you know, Chuck brings the item to the guy yes. and all he has to do is take it and kill Chuck Norris. Uh, but it's, it's a like, fake one. And then that becomes like a whole 20 minutes yeah. where we have to like deal with the forgery, the fake one to try and, then, and get him to the real one. And then yeah. he gets that. Yeah. Finally gets that. Kills Ryan Gold. And then uh, was it Ryan Gold? Was I right? Reinhardt. Damn it. Okay. And I love that you can remember the bad, the, the wrong names. No problem. Any real name. Just like, mm, no, fuck face. That's it. That's his name. Yep. So this uh, now bad guy armed with the, uh, the, the scepter mm-hmm. reconstituted and mm. yeah. the royal blood. Right. Yep. It's going to make his. I think it's kind of genius that he is the archaeologist in charge of his own like sacrificial like tomb site. That's genius. I'm sorry. Yeah. I feel like we haven't appreciated his, his, you know, 30, 40 years of, of everything he's accomplished. Yeah. (laughs) He is a prestigious professor who's, who's investigating his own historical site. That's That's genius. So he had, sounds like you're with the devil. He had the foresight (laughs) to like, before he told anybody about it, then he's like, I want the rights to this. Like, Right, yeah, that yeah, was how he did yep, it. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I'll tell you, but I get the rights to the to the actual dig. Yeah, yeah. No, you're, you're, you're a right, fucking right. genius. Or the thing, I think the it's thing great. is a fucking genius. Yeah, prostate Thanos, man. This leads Smart. to our big and fiery conclusion to Hellbound because Chuck Norris fights sidekick, but not Fezzy. Unfortunately, Fezzy. He's not uh, present. No, in the no. climax. No. Swoop in to rescue children. Leslie. Yes. So from the altar. And the whoop ass begins. It does. It's not as much whoop ass as I would like. like it begins but there were a lot and of, ends pretty quick. There, yeah. <laughs> a lot of running kicks. A lot of, a lot of kicks and everything. And then there's a disappearance. A lot of kicks, but never a roundhouse kick. Never a roundhouse no. kick, but the. But the uh, there's a couple more. Prestanos de- disappears a yeah. few times. There's a couple and then, more demons that show up. Comes down. It, it. I feel like the Power Rangers fighting the putties is more exciting than this. Like, I mean, at least when you hit them in the Z, they would blow up and go into the, different pieces. Well, and they would yeah. do jump kicks and shit. Like the, the Power Rangers would do crazy shit. Well, they don't seem to have like. I mean, they have a budget to make this room, I guess, and then it's like, all right, we're just going to do choreography. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. it. You know, and so they employ slow motion. Which makes everything a lot more dramatic when Chuck Norris threw that fucking guy down on the ground and then like <laughs> lifted his arm way up and then slammed him in the face. I was like, "Whoa, that's fucking awesome, Chuck Norris!" No, no. Holly Shaker. No, mm. no. <laughs> that's what I hear when people talk about professional wrestling to me. Like that's what it sounds like. I'm just like, okay, s- sure. I'm sure it's but cool. But that's the appeal the of the Chuck Norris movie. It doesn't no, cool, slow but... motion kicking and everything. Yeah, I mean, we he he did he did the kicking. Not the roundhouse kicking. No. I mean, that's really, that's brings it down. A, no, it was boring. This was level. a boring ass fight scene. Yep. Boring. They didn't do he anything. Kicked that one guy in the stomach and then this guy tipped over. He brought his knee up and kicked him in the face. Yeah. yeah. But okay. you expect when you're going to get in a fight with like. <laughs> they blew up a mall in Invasion USA. That's what we're, yeah. you know, measuring he with kills here. The, well, we can't spoil it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> when you, when you put, when you're going to fight the devil, you would think there's going to be more. That. He's not fighting okay. the devil. <laughs> Prostate Thanos. Prostate Thanos when you fight the devil's henchman. But you feel like, but he's got more going to him than just, it feels like there should be more than a fist fight. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like there should be some 
some I mean we do get sparks and everything but a he should be fight. using a sword fight or yeah. something there should be more to it than it should what be we more got. theatrical yeah 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 because he is you know like it's like, the dark arts I mean we go back to like an end of days they're in a fucking cathedral right and it's like dramatic there's yep. fire like it's... like and this guy has the ability to spark and eventually do other things so like there should be I'm, I want force lightning okay yeah. I'm just gonna say yeah. that's why I want something yeah. like that yeah yeah because I mean it's just when you get to the point where you're you're your head bad guy is literally just staring down and squaring off again. I mean, they're doing that thing where they're sizing each other up as they walk around. And it's yeah. like, okay, this is going to be like a boxing match or something. Yeah. You know, like you better have some Bruce Lee quality. Right. I mean, this guy can levitate and like, float at will. Like I expected more. Yeah. He's got super strength he, and everything. But like he eventually stabs him with the scepter. He could have roundhouse kicked that scepter into him. Yeah. That would have been really cool. I was waiting for that. We were all waiting for that. Just yeah. disappointment. But well, he, just... he has to like ask, I think, Leslie, who's maybe still coming out of some kind of stupor on the uh, altar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Leslie, how do we kill him? Leslie, how do we kill him? She's got to think about it for yeah. a minute. She's like reciting all of the lore. Right In order to get to yeah. the point the, where... She's reciting the whole scroll we saw at the beginning of the movie, basically. <laughs> yeah. And so Prositanos is like, I've got you know some time here to... you know, And uh, so he's after the scepter. Chuck's after the scepter. Chuck gets a scepter. I was just like, you stab him with a scepter. Chuck's like, yeah, he just, he just, (laughs) he he just, he just throws it at him like a spear. That's it. Yeah. But we don't even, yeah, that's not even a good line. No. no, and the way the choreography for this, like throwing the scepter at him, it is like when you're making home movies with your friends and you stick the sword between your arm and your side to make it look like you've been stabbed yeah. from the side. That's what it looks like. It's that level of mm-hmm. attention yeah. to detail. It's it was kind of disappointing. It's pretty disappointing. Mm-hmm. Uh, what should he have said there? Right. Suck on this. Right. Go back hell to hell. Yeah. yeah, something about sending you to Sad. hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, something, something with <laughs> care hell. for some steak. Yeah, mm-hmm. right through the chest. Some, just anything that yeah. was worse. Go to hell. I mean, mm-hmm. that was Schwarzenegger. I think mm-hmm. actually did. That. Go to hell yeah. again. Yeah, <laughs> short. But isn't that what he wants? Schwarzenegger also had the choir boy line. Oh yeah, so that was oh, a great. That line. was great. Yeah. yeah. Fucking Re- choir boy. Yeah. I'm reevaluating yeah. my end of days. You know now. That I've well, seen comparatively, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, we, and we say, like, oh, Schwarzenegger did it, but this movie was made first, so mm-hmm. Chuck could have said it first. Yeah. So, I mean, he gets, all right, so he gets sceptered right through the middle. And yeah. so he, this is part where he starts sparking and flaming and everything. Sure. And he yes, actually, do. and he, uh, we get Demon Head, too. Like, yeah, that for a second. He's got a dinosaur a head for a second, which is like, I wanted that change while they were still fighting. Yeah. Right. If we, nothing else. Did we mention this guy's eyes? He's got weird He's got, pupils. Yeah. They're like weird. Frog they're, yeah, they're yeah. like a frog. Yeah, they're like Kermit but the Frog. He's got like wide. Um, he's got like, <laughs> like wide sclera. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. He's got they're, wide they're, they're like goat size. Yeah, right. maybe that's what they're going for. It's just a weird maybe. look. He's like a balding guy with the long hair and these goat eyes. And, he's, and the, I mean, when the eyes show up, it's creepy. They adjust mm-hmm. his voice. Creepy. I do like the. Eyes. He has very pronounced cheekbones. Cheekbones yeah. right. for days. Yeah, he looks like if you saw that guy walking down the street, you'd be like, he's a vampire oh. or the devil. Well, then yeah. That, yeah, that's what he looks like. Yeah, well, he look, would be flying down yeah, the street. The look was know. perfect. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, but I know that we're killing the bad guy, and I know he explodes in big fiery things. He does. But, I mean, the thing that everybody has wanted to know is will Frank Shatter and <laughs> Leslie <laughs> ever get together? Once they get back to Maybe. Chicago. Yeah. Yep. There's yep. an almost smooch at the airport. Yeah. But then there's more shenanigans. Yeah, more fucking, shenanigans. Yeah. With the pocket but he does but he does say to her, I'll see you in Chicago. Yeah. So. Fucking pickpocket uh, kid. For Hellbound and, 2. But it ends on a freeze frame of the pickpocket kid. I know. Which I it should have and it did. Which is also the only other credit I can give to this movie. Yeah, with the jaunty music of George Clinton. Yep. yep. And, uh, right. And the studio Stand audience up. clapped. Yeah. And then everyone went home. Yeah. And then, oh, they brought the joke back. <laughs> Yay, good episode. Colin, I'm going to need you to be more specific. It's George S. Clinton? George yeah. S. Yeah. Not yeah. George yeah. Clinton. Not the yeah, George Clinton. Clinton. Not the yeah. George Clinton. Not the George Clinton. Mm-hmm. And so I think mm. that brings us to the the end of the end our of days. Oh, I mean. of <laughs> Thanks, sister. <laughs> but hold on. But uh, tell you what, listener, we want you to stick around because you don't know whether or not we actually liked it. I mean, you know, this you know, it always amazes me. This breaks either way. You know, you go around the table and suddenly somebody likes a movie and you're like, how the fuck? <laughs> or they, they hate it. You know, we don't know. But we're going to tell you. But first of all, we're going to answer some of your mail. And in order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman. And his name is Igor 
Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Do you think he sparks? If you stab him? The scepter? I mean, yes. I was just thinking he was holding part of the scepter. I mean, he's definitely flammable. Yeah. Yeah. But I think he's like, I think he's hiding part of that scepter. Like, he'd be the one of the guys. He's got one of the nine pieces. Yes, he's got Mm -hmm. one of the nine pieces. I mean, would you suspect him of having it? I would. That's why you do it. That's why he's got it. He has a lot of treasure. I don't know if you guys knew that. (laughs) That's very true. (laughs) We we go back there. He's going to have like like a a dragon lamp. Yeah. Yeah, He's He's going to have. He's like fucking smog back there. Yeah. This is all true. True. True story. Yep. All right, we should tell the good folks at home how they can get a hold of us by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Um, Chuck Norris didn't call the wrong number. You answered the wrong phone. (laughs) Okay. All right. Chuck Norris played a game of rock, paper, scissors against his reflection and won. (laughs) He just punched it. Chuck Norris is able to strangle people using a cordless phone. Did I say that one already? I think we've said okay, that one I a like few that. times. I kind of yeah, like that, that one. Chuck Norris can drink a whole glass of beer. Yep, even the glass. <laughs> wow. That's, is that a whole oh, page of them? Oh, God. Yeah, here I mean, we go. Right. Here we yeah. go. Here we okay. Go. okay. So, uh, about tonight's movie. <laughs> yeah, like Hellbound. It. NRL Kit Clash says this movie scared the shit out of me as a seven year old when it came out. Needless to say, I couldn't sleep for a long time. The eyes will do that. Yeah, to you, I think. Yeah, they're creepy. Mm-hmm. Long Tall Shorty says, I have a question. Why would you watch this? Was sidekicks not enough? <laughs> That's Clearly, no, it was not. I mean, you got to understand just the log line. Yeah, we were due. fell for it. Chuck Norris versus yeah. the devil. <laughs> yeah. They're like, we're in. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, yeah. Not the sometimes time. you don't have to do much. Yeah. So next up is Chuck Norris versus Michael Myers. That movie exists. It's what? called Silent Rage. Well, I mean, it's a ripoff of. It's well, basically, yeah. Well, now I feel like we should have watched that instead. Uh, well, <laughs> you get. I mean, we get that feeling a lot with Chuck yeah. Norris movies, don't we? It's yeah. like we should watch that instead. Uh, Adam Kaler says, "Is this the one where Chuck Norris takes on Pinhead? Who would win in a fight, Chuck Norris or Cenobite, Chuck Norris?" Oh my god. Ooh. What would his like Cenobite thing be? More robotic than he is as a person. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he I would, think he, he, would just spinning. he would just be legs. Yeah, he'd be like a top. Yeah, he's spinning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I feel like Cenobite Chuck Norris would have more personality than real life Chuck Norris. Right? So, like, he'd, he'd have to be more animated. Be yeah. 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 Uh, you know, I, I think Cinnabite would win. I don't think you could stop the, like the centrifugal force that would get going from yeah. spinning. You know, mm-hmm. no, he just annihilates people with that kick. Yeah, like just cutting people, kicks in them half in half. It. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. very. Yeah, I like it, like yeah. a battle bot. Yeah, 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 <laughs> but yeah basically a yeah. constant battle bot. I know there's a Hellraiser <laughs> remake or something coming out. Put Chuck on, Norris guys. in it. Yeah, yeah. It's like, or yeah. make Chuck yeah. Norris pinhead. We're giving yeah. you ideas. Michael Whitaker says, "I don't know if you know this, but the chief export of Chuck Norris is pain." Mm. <laughs> I had a feeling. <laughs> he says some kids pee their name in the snow, but Chuck Norris can pee his name in concrete. Mm, you should like get problem. that checked out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's he, prostate Thanos. Prostate <laughs> Thanos. <laughs> yeah, and he concludes by saying, "Just remember, you brought this on yourself." That's true. You know, I didn't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is my doing. No, no, no. We all, we all. No, yeah. no, take it. Richard Kratzer says, uh, God doesn't send souls to hell. They beg to be sent there to spare them from Chuck Norris's judgment. That was too, right, too long. Right. Too long a walk. Travis Legler says, this movie, though. Chuck Norris once overdosed on Viagra. However, the only thing got stiff and wooden was his acting. D- so you're saying he's a dick. <laughs> no, he's saying his acting sucks, which it does. We, we, we've said that. But yeah. he got stiff. No, but he's a dick. He uh, last week we watched a movie called Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker. Joey Blythe said, "Game over, man." Bill Paxton is back. Wait, did the shitty detective just say "booby"? <laughs> right, after- he sure did. <laughs> he says, "After further review, I think I kind of hate this because Aunt Cheryl acts like my father-in-law's quote-unquote girlfriend." Ew, ew. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, oh. That's unfortunate. So many questions. Many. Yeah. Disturbing. None that I want answers to. <laughs> questions. I feel, Peter... like, I feel like you've got a lot to deal with over there. <laughs> uh, Peter Gatt says, so I'm currently watching Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker on YouTube. 
and the fight scene where Billy pours milk over Bill Paxton's head. They scuffle a bit, and then miraculously, Bill Paxton doesn't have any milk stains anywhere on his person. That's power yeah. of milk. Yeah. I'm guessing he wiped it all off in the grass. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> the fight was so happening so fast, it just flew off. Yeah. Yeah. Milk. Yeah. Milk. Can you imagine that, getting hit with, like, milk in the face. incidental milk? If you're just standing near a fight, <laughs> no, that'd be horrible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, incidental milk you know, is also an, you know, uh, something else. Now that you say that, something similar happened to my sister once. <laughs> oh, no. What? An incidental milk There was story. a food fight in the cafe and, or in the cafeteria in middle school. She, she got hit with friendly fire in a food fight. <laughs> she, got, she got hit with a, it was a chocolate milk carton, but it was half filled with lemon. Lemonade. So it was a mixture of lemonade and chocolate milk. She was standing up to like get out of the food fight and got hit with it. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> it's hilarious though because I'm her sister. Well, so yeah, like, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. That had to smell but, like, yeah, horrible. Yeah, yeah. You can't do anything chocolate about milk it and lemonade. Yeah. Oh. yeah, that's mm. so sticky. It's, yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, the week before, we watched a movie called uh, Frailty. Carson Snar says, I was always confused about the demons in Frailty. Were they people who were possessed by demons at some point, or did they always just exist as demons? I can't remember yeah. if it's explained in the movie. No, no we, we were very confused by that as well. It, that's yeah, because one it seemed, of the few problems. With it that seemed movie. like people that just sinned, but they were acting as though they were demonic people. I, it was very confusing. We never got clarity on that. And Monty Montague says, Frailty is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's a good nice. movie. It's really good. It's a good movie. I gotta watch it. You I mean, I've seen it. I, I saw it a long time yeah. ago, so I'm pretty sure I remember. Yeah. It's worth a it revisit. And everything. Sure. But yes, I'd like to watch it again. Sean, have you finished Tombstone yet? <laughs> I still don't know. <laughs> one day. One day. One day. <laughs> one day. All right, well... Until, but now I got to start it over. Yeah, yeah. Because exactly. I, because so, I know, yeah. Over <laughs> so now we got to go back to the beginning. Yep. How long is that movie? I, I can't even look Two at you right now. <laughs> Tombstone is one of the greatest movies of all time. Yeah. Whoa, it is great. I love that movie. All right. Well. <laughs> okay. Now this movie. Until but back we. To hell, yeah. Until until we find out whether Sean one day finishes tombstone <laughs> uh we're gonna go around the table and tell you whether you should watch because you've already seen tombstone we're gonna go tell you if you should watch <laughs> hellbound starting with john okay first of all i want to say something <laughs> i have a defiant disorder so you guys telling me okay. to watch it is really not going to get me to watch it uh i've seen it a lot so i don't care okay uh we really starting with me um yeah, no so i you. don't uh hellbound uh lies lies all lies <laughs> <laughs> he didn't go to hell. Uh, there, he, nobody was in hell. Nobody was nobody, bound for hell. Nobody really. was bound for hell. No, no. Uh, mm -hmm. this is we get uh, Chuck uh, Norris kicking ass through hell. Prostatonos. Hell's not in the movie, no. right? There's no shots of hell. Or no, anything. no hell. No. We get we do get some pig demons, and he does turn into a demon at the end. So we know that some form of hell or the devil does exist. Um, no, it's a uh, it's a rather boring movie. There's a lot of defenestration, which I did like. I would like have liked more, but. Um, the, what they're trying to do in this movie comes off very annoying to me. The buddy cop stuff does not work. Um, no, I don't like this movie. It's boring at points, but for me, it's very annoying for me. Um, the, there's no, the script sucks. There's nothing out of the ordinary from, if it's Chuck Norris fighting the devil, there should be a little something, an element more to this movie that we didn't get. So it's kind of just a plain Chuck Norris movie. Um, but not as good. No good quips. The dialogues. I don't know. I don't, I don't like this movie. I don't think you should watch it. There are far better Chuck Norris movies out there. Mm -hmm. Um, I can guarantee it. Um, yeah, don't, don't watch this movie. I can't, if I keep talking, I'm just going to say really bad things about this. So I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to move on. Uh, Holly, what did mm -hmm. you think about Hellbound? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to agree with you. This movie sucked. Um, there's not really anything redeeming about this movie. No. Um, it took down canon, so that even yeah, that is just right. like irredeemable. That's, that's, yeah, that's something. Do we know how much this movie Season cost? Out of curiosity? There was like no information about this movie available <laughs> I am online. shocked. It's like, well, yeah. forget it. No. I <laughs> oh, would... I, oh, wait. No, no, no. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm interrupting. No, I found the funny part. <laughs> the, pri the priest Farouk, when they go and visit him, he's like, you should leave. Leave. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's right. That yeah. was the best part of the movie. That was pretty funny. <laughs> that so, I enjoyed yeah. very much. He, he was, he was, he was very, very shrill. Very, yeah. It was very good. All right, yeah. continue. I'm no, sorry. I, I, no, I, I'm, I agree with you. That was probably the best part of the yeah. movie. Um, yeah, no, this movie sucks. If you want good Chuck Norris content, I'd say we're still... We're, we're still with um, Invasion USA is probably his yeah. best. That's that's the best an, that we've watched here. Yeah, that's an entertaining one. Um, and as far as like the the storyline, like the content is, I don't even know. Like I, I agree with Michaela. I think they were making this up as they went along. And I think like the police procedural, like religious kind of stuff. If you want to, if you want a movie about that kind of thing, watch um, watch the Ninth Gate. Mm. That's mm-hmm. that's. I thought about that. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. Watch if you want like a good version of that. Like you know, all these like detective pieces trying to find the devil and stuff. Watch the Ninth Gate. That's that's the procedural you want. Um, yeah. No, this movie sucks. There's nothing redeeming about it. I can't recommend it. It was boring. No, no, thank you. I understand why Canon fell after this. <laughs> Colin, what do you think? Well, Michaela, thank you, because I didn't think we would have another chance to, uh, or at least I wouldn't have another chance to come up with a whole list of Chuck Norris jokes You're on welcome, this Colin. show. Is that what the entire other page of the mailbag was? Yeah. Just jokes that That's you wrote down? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, you, you made notes Oh, first. I was throwing them out there during that. I, I know, I know. Them. I realized at the end that, like, oh, he just got to the end of his list. <laughs> yeah. He was doing the it other all ones the time. Are all- <laughs> now, did you go back to our previous episodes to make sure you didn't repeat? Nope. No, because I've heard two that okay. were, I've heard before. <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, Chuck Norris still trying to pin down <laughs> the appeal of, of Chuck Norris. It's I think like, we are, but I mean, the guy you you can't deny that the guy's had like this amazing career that started what we were saying like in the seventies with those movies, you know, Lone Wolf, McQuaid, and the Octagon, and Breaker Morton, and all that stuff, and then Cannon resurrected him and gave him the eighties and the nineties. <laughs> they did. They just gave him the eighties. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. Walker, Texas Ranger. You know, it's like the fucking huge. <laughs> Is it like Baywatch, then Walker, Texas Ranger? Yeah, know. that's kind it of the same. Like that, you know, that is in the same basket, yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I'll stick with my Baywatch. <laughs> so I get that it's like kind of a, it's a, it's a, it's not a big ask. You know, the, the, we just got to have something with Chuck Norris in it. And yeah. does he kick people? Yep. At the end, we build up to the, he kicks a bad guy. <laughs> yep. Okay. So, and I actually didn't think that the movie was badly put together. It was cheap, but it wasn't like badly made. Yeah, technically, it's it's it was perfectly like, fine. Yeah, it was perfectly fine. Perfectly nothing, fine. There was nothing mm. good about it, but it was it was just like meh. I mean, yeah, I don't you see put the bo- lights in the right place. Yeah, and, I don't see any booms yeah. in the shot. Yeah. Like the ed- we did know, see a, a person edit. hiding. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, that dude was under the desk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because of speed, we don't have time yeah. to reshoot it. It's just two guys <laughs> going to a door. Yeah. yeah, there's a guy hiding under a desk. You yep. see in a lobby at one point. Yep. Which is kind of funny. Um, That's because someone's like, ooh, I got an idea. Steal his donut. Here, you can't be in the scene, though. Get under the <laughs> <Yeah>. desk. <laughs> um, but, uh, I mean, your problem is the script. And I assume, I'm just putting this together in my head. I'm like, well, this was probably something that they bought cheap because they couldn't afford. At this point, they were just like, what do we have on the script pile that we mm-hmm. can use? And this I think one- there's a problem with the directing, too. Yeah, I think so. There's there was some reactions from people that I'm like that doesn't make sense. I I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but sometimes that stuff. Well, okay, because I think you know Aaron Norris is more just concerned about putting the movie together. That's how he seems to me. He's like Chuck directed this movie. I can yeah, I can put the movie together. I'm not really the actors know what they're doing. I'll just let them do their thing. I mean, nobody's like over the top or anything. They're just kind of like. They're there and they're delivering lines and but the lines are horrible. horrible. There's just mm-hmm. nothing, nothing for the actors them. to work with, uh, which is why I think they end up seeming like, you know, uh, they're bad actors because mm-hmm. it's just you're trying to make a mountain out of out of nothing, you know, um, it's like no chemistry between those two. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. And but I guess I wasn't bored the whole way through it. Like, you know, Holly was saying that she was bored. Uh, I wasn't bored, but I was just sitting there going like I have seen everything you know i know it's coming next i've seen all this before Mm. i've seen it done better and i think for that basic reason it's like you know no you don't need to you know even i can't imagine there's a chuck norris completionist out there oh i hope i'm sure there is okay well you have to see the movie 
You're the Every, only one. You're the only one. Everybody else, you can probably skip this because there's other, there's better Chuck Norris mm-hmm. movies. If that's what you're going for, there's other better supernatural, better devil movies, detective mm-hmm. devil movies. Yeah. So I would say skip it. Michaela, what'd mm-hmm. you think? Oh, it was super boring, and <laughs> it was boring and annoying at the same yeah, time. Yeah, very annoying. Very annoying. Very annoying at the it movie. um, it's not even like. A movie that would make a good like mystery science theater episode because Mm-mm. it's just so much walking and talking. There's nothing yeah. for them to even make fun of. Like, yeah. there's just a lot of walking you can't make and fun talking. Of it if they're not saying anything, yeah, mm-hmm. and it's just it's just so dull and so boring. And even like Chuck Norris doesn't have a ton of personality to begin with, and then you put the movie all around him is boring too. And it's just like there's nothing here to grab onto. So hard pass. It's boring. Don't waste your time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There it mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. All right. Well. Uh, hard I pass guess. to Hawaii. Yeah, hard pass. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So long, Canon film. <laughs> so our Canon comes to a sad end. Yeah. Aww. You started until next year. Such greatness. <laughs> yes. With the apple. With the apple. Nope. You can't sustain a bunch that. Of ninja movies and I mean, who can? Break Not even Mr. Tops could sustain that. Mm-hmm. We did, I think, at one point talk about the breakup between Menachem yep. and and, yep. and uh, Yoram, where they each through their separate companies. Released two competing Lombada movies. Yep. Yep. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> that is the ultimate, like, fight. Yeah. It's the ultimate yeah. Hatfield McCoy's fight. <laughs> the Lombada. Two Lombada movies. Yeah. Released the types and, like, you know, fuck your Lombada movie. Yeah. I got my Lombada movie. I know. From the, the, the lofty peaks of Masters of the Universe. Yes. And, and Over the Top and yeah, Cobra. And Cobra. Oh, yes. Cobra. Mm. All right. Then. Yes. <laughs> next week Made we're gonna watch. Yeah. <laughs> next week we're gonna watch a movie that was chosen by Colin. Colin, what are we gonna watch next week? We're getting all naughty. We're watching a movie oh. that's called "The Witch Who Came from the Sea." Uh-oh. Anyone? Oh. Anyone? Anyone? No. Anyone? no. Okay. Right. Intriguing title. Yeah. I'm interested. All right. And you said naughty. Yeah. You okay. guys are all gonna hate me by the end of that episode. Oh. All right. Oh. I, and, I smell Ilsa, <laughs> a she-wolf. Uh, it's not that bad. No, just, okay. Oh, All no. Right. <laughs> All righty. All right, so that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.